On Thursday, he was fitting a carpet. On Monday night, he is celebrating victory over the greatest darts player there has ever been. Adrian Gray has put out Phil Taylor at the Skybet World Grand Prix. I bet you can't believe what you've just done, Adrian, oh, can you? It's amazing, Dave, honestly. It's amazing. Tell us how, how it, it came about, because you, you were very calm early on, taking your time over the shots. Yeah, I was just relaxing, um, you know, just, just, just relaxing and, and mainly focusing on my, on my double in, because, you know, it's so scary if you miss it. You know, I think there was only one leg where I actually didn't get off with, with my first three. So, you know, I've done well on that one. And how was it when you, you were feeding off the crowd here? Because they were going wild and, and the adrenaline must have been pumping. You could see you shaking physically on stage. Oh, it was amazing. I, I was, I was, <laughs> as I was going for, um, as, as I was coming back, you, you had the crowd telling me to calm down, relax, you've got him, don't worry. And oh, it was amazing. And that, that final leg, getting the 180s, back-to-back -back yeah. 180s, yeah. I mean, that must have been just <laughs> dream time I was, for you. I was, I was shaking, Dave. I, honestly, I was shaking. Was so, when the first one went in, I, just, I was just saying to myself, just go steady, you know, you, you, you're ahead of him. That's all you got to do, just go, just go steady. And then when the next one went in, it was, it was unbelievable, really. The, the fact that Phil Taylor's been beaten a few times in, in recent tournaments and, and hasn't won on TV since here last year, did that give you confidence? Is there a, a, a feeling around the players' room that when I come up against Taylor, it's not the, the brick wall that it used to be? No, no, no definitely. Um, y you know, everyone knows that Taylor's lost twice on this stage. So, you know, that gives you belief, knowing that, you know, he has lost. So, you know, and yeah, we, we know Taylor's not playing at his best, but he still won um, the Players' Championship at the weekend. So he is playing well, just, you know, he's not at his best. But you got to take advantage of that. Tell us about you then, because as I said there, last Thursday, you were, you were fitting a carpet in someone's house, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, well, I've got a wife and a baby, you know, I've, I've, that, that's my main income. So, you know, I've got to look after them too. And, and what, you, what 40, 42 in the world right uh, now? Yeah, 42 or 43. So this like is going to give you a, a great boost though now, because I guess the dream is to be a, a full-time pro, isn't it? Yeah, that, that's everyone's dream. You know, we all, we all want to earn, earn money doing uh, what we love, so, yeah. And Andy Smith, next. Yeah. Um, how, how are you feeling about that? Because well, one, uh, so often someone's beaten Taylor and then they've fallen at the next hurdle. I guess you, you want to put that straight, say, no way, I'm, I'm going to go yeah. a long way in this tournament. Well, um, I played Andy on yesterday, Sunday. Um, I lost to Andy. So, you know, he may think he's got a bit, a bit of confidence on me, so. If you go on and uh, win the tournament, £50,000, that would make a... I mean, a, come a in nice handy, mark. I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we'll let you uh, get your mum. By the way, was going through all sorts of emotions there. Yeah, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> well done, well Thank done, you. Adrian Thank Gray. You.